Hey everybody, Harry Gary here for Busted Lock Tech, and here's your host, Gus Greenfield. This is the part where everybody's clapping and stuff like that, and you would like see the... Yeah, something like that. Okay. Let's see. <sighs> Disregard the mess in the background. Um, I just did a, I don't know, 20 minute video, and I was like trying to get the glare out of there and stuff so you guys could see the cars and uh i'm looking at it and it's like hey what the heck's this and all of a sudden i looked at it, it's like i'm uh, i'm on i was on uh photograph not uh video so i wasted all that time this stuff is actually hard to do i just know hey look right there hot wheels disregard those license plates behind me i got them off of a guy in uh Youngstown, Ohio. Youngstown, Ohio. Murder capital of the world. Some, one of them years, maybe a few years ago. Um, and this is a disclaimer. If you're not 18, you probably shouldn't be watching this channel. I try to keep it as clean as I can, but uh, I got a bad habit. I like to swear and do stupid things. Uh, um, oh, here's something weird. Oh, no, I can't show you that. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm out in the pole barn, and this is where I hang out, and it's just like a basically a dumping ground for stuff that I get from uh, flea markets and auctions, and I, I'm in it for the game. I just, I just like, I try to win the bids and, and find good finds at the auctions, and then I just take it and I throw it out here and in my pole barn, and uh, and then it just rots and dies basically. Uh, any of these cars I show you today, most of them are probably for sale. Probably, I'm not saying they definitely are, but uh, I mean, if you if you there's something like you really really need for your collection or something, because I find some pretty good ones. Uh, just you know, get a hold of me on on whatever, and then uh, like everybody through Rust Belt Racing or whatever could probably then knows how to get a hold of me. So check out Rust Belt Racing, and uh, that's excellent channel and. Uh, uh, anyway, but they call me uh, William Bell also, but you could, it's probably like, it's G. William Bell. G. William Bell. Okay. Or Gus Greenfield. Okay. I'm rambling. I'm rambling now. So anyway, let me get let me get started on these cars. I try to keep these under 12 minutes, and I'm already at uh, three minutes, so. People commented on my last video about my my hair. And my beard, I'm actually a, well, I was a um, Civil War reenactor, and I have a horse, and I knew, well, I had a horse, and I know how to ride a horse, and I know how to fall off a horse, so I got to be an officer. Um, I was like, uh, but it got canceled because of this COVID-19 stuff, so. Uh, I'm probably, I'm getting too old to do that anymore, so I'm probably done with that. And I was a Confederate officer, so if anybody sees something like that, it's like, I don't have any political agendas or nothing like that. I'm the, I, I just, uh. I had a, you know, I had, a, I had a horse and I had a chance to be higher up in ranks being a Confederate officer because nobody wanted to be one. And it was like kind of cool, you know, but I'd always die fall off the horse and stuff. It was kind of cool. But I have no, no political views on anything. Uh, actually, a lot of people thought that, that I was uh, African American because I was born in South Africa. But uh, uh, um, my, my, I don't know, I have like a, um, I'm a Heinz 57. There's, I got, uh, Native American in me, Irish, German, uh, African American, um, all kinds of different stuff. So, you know, hey, whatever people are into, that's, that's, uh, I'm good. I'm good. So, anyway, just letting you guys know a little bit about what's going on with me. All right, let me show you these cars. Uh, I have some of these. I got some of these. Now, so this is, these ones are from some guy named Don at the Rinky Dink Flea Market that we have. I'm going to, like, I'm already, like, out of time. And I'm going to change this camera view. Sorry about this. It's like, I got you on a um, advertising for Black & Decker Workmate Shop Box connected to the other Black & Decker thing. So it kind of works pretty good. I, I use it for um, doing my little modified cars and stuff like that. So anyway, a little plug for those guys. They're not sponsoring me at all. I'm sponsored by uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see here. All right, here's a tech, tech, 
tuners. I can't even see out here now. So here, you guys just look at that one. That's like, eh, pretty cool. Pretty nice. See that? I like that. There's the card so you can figure out what year. Oh, there it is right there. Whatever year that is. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 2000 something. I don't have my bifocals on, so. All right, this is, here's a neat one. Um, a first edition shoebox, it's called. That is one heavy. Looks like it's got a plastic bottom, but 2000. That's a heavy ride. Look at that bad boy. Woo wee. Nice first edition. There's the card. All right. All right. There's another 2000 first edition. This one's called Holden. Number 21 of 36 cars. Kind of nice. Nice one. Man, I got rid of the glare out here, but it's like standing up. I mean, you can see the glare on my face. Looks like I'm getting sunburnt. But... All right, there's them. I got a couple of them down. This video is going to suck, huh? Anyway, um, yeah, if I look weird with the beard stuff, I told you about the beard, but the, the side of my face and things like that, I actually, like, I used to be obese, and I lost a lot of weight. So if you see, like, weird stuff going on there, that's, that's what that's all about. I was in a couple accidents and things. I used to be like, sort of like a stunt man. Anyway, uh, I just perform my own stunts, though, you know. Not dumb like jackass, though. Like, dumb like trying to impress the girls, you know. Here's a, this is a neat one. I got to measure this car, because I like to put this one on on um, Josh's little two-inch, two-inch shorty racetrack. They got to be little two inches. That's a neat little car right there. See what year that is. That's like a, I don't know, 2002 maybe. You have to, something like that. But that's a cool little car. All right, then this one here is a, this is an 09. It's either an 09 or a 1960. I think it's an 09 called, <laughs> for some reason, this thing makes me laugh. Um, Synchro? Synchro? I don't know. Number eight, synchro. Kind of cool. Probably, probably pretty fast on that uh, downhill on at the rocket. That'd be a good one for the rocket there. Metal bottom too. I should send these in to you guys, man. You guys at Rust Belt Racing running on plastic cars, man. It, it blow your way here. Anyway, let's see. Um, hey, I really enjoy you guys' channel too. It's like I've been participating in it. It's like G William. Not William. Or just call me Gus. Gus Greenfield from 3dbotmaker.com. <laughs> All right, this guy here is, and I'm really having a hard time seeing this stuff. These videos take a long time, and I'm like, um, uh, let's see, 2000 something. I don't know. You guys look and see what it is. Pretty cool, though. Nice. There it is right there. See, can you guys see it? Wait, wait, where is it? Oh, right here. Here. Yeah, there's the car again. Nice car, though. Look at that. Real nice. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry that I can't read these dang things. It's getting... It's like, uh, you ever notice when you were a little kid, you're playing outside in the summertime or wintertime or whatever, and it's daylight out, and you go inside to get a drink of water or whatever, go to the bathroom, come back outside, and all of a sudden it's freaking dark? Well, that's what happened to me out here. I went in to get a beer and come back out. I was like... What the heck? Now I can't see. Everything's a glare. Had to move stuff around. Here's a nice one. Woo! This one, there's a there's a Corvette that looks like this this too, but in the the scale is like a little different on the seats. But the Shelby Cobra 427 SC. And this is a. Uh, I don't know what year this is, but you can look at the package and figure it out. But pretty nice little car there. All right, all right. I'm, so, I'm really sorry about this video here. This looks probably get really dumb. Here's one. Um, I think it might be a 2001 Oldsmobile Aurora. This is a sharp looking car. This looks like something that they're making now, you know. There you go. A little closer. Number one. Oldsmobile Aurora. There's the card. All right. 
All right. Randy? All right. Okay, um, 2001 first edition Lotus M260 maybe? This is a nice one. The card's a little jacked, but. And all these cars, you know, maybe they might be for sale. There's the year right there. They might be for sale. Uh, you know, if you need one for your collection or whatever, there's ways to contact me. <clears throat> Rust Belt Racing, I'm on there all the time. I like them guys. They're cool. Except I think I might have to build my own track. Which I'm working. What's up? Look at this beard here. I gotta shave this thing off. Okay. Oh, there we go. Where are we at? We're getting uh we're hitting it. We're at the 11 minute mark here almost. Here's one. Another 2000 first edition. The Anglia panel truck? Anglia. Nice. There's the card. Alright. And here's one. Hot Wheels Code Cars. This is Tigre. That's a fancy little car there. Fancy little ride. I'm sure some of your mouths are watering and other ones are saying what is this idiot doing? Okay, and then uh, here's another 2000. As I showed this, this is a showstopper. And it is. I think it's a, I think it's a fantasy car, but it almost looks like a, almost looks like some more modern day thing here. 2000. I must have run into a batch of 2000 first edition here. A nice little car. Nice little car there. If you guys want to see something or buy something, you know. Just let me know. I'm putting these in a tote. So, let me try to get through this. Oh man, we're at the 12 minute mark. Let me do one more and then we'll have to do another one. Here's one, 1998 first edition. This is a, um, it says Premier Collector's Model. It doesn't actually say the car. Oh yeah, Jaguar X, Jaguar XK8. That's a beautiful car. That is a beautiful car. See that? Can you see it here? It says, that's nice. <laughs> anyway, there you go. There's that one. All right, and then one more. 1995. 1995. How come my tongue looks so red? Uh, uh, weird. Um, 1995. New for 95. Look at this thing. This thing is sharp. This is a speed blaster. It actually looks like a real car. Except for that giant, humongous motor that, what is that, like a 700 cylinder? <laughs> there you go. All right, and there's the card. All right. And then, oh man, we're running way over on this one. This is a Spider Rider, which I don't know why. 2010 new model. I don't know why this is called a Spider Rider. But here it is. There's your Spider Rider for 2010. Sorry about that glare. Where the heck's that coming from? Off the card. I think it's bouncing off the thing there. All right. We're going to cut this thing short right now, okay? Or, I mean, long. I'm running long now anyway. So, all right. It was good seeing you guys. I'm going to try to, um, you know, just keep posting these videos so you can see, you know, so they're not too long and, you know, fall asleep to them, do whatever. Uh, if this is on YouTube, please like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. But... I don't worry about that stuff, so I'll probably just have it on Facebook and some friends. All right, um, see you later, everybody.